Hello everybody, it's me Pam here at Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. I sure hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm sorry I didn't post anything last week. Honestly, I made like several videos and I wasn't happy with any of them. <laughs> I know, it says a lot about me. Um, but um, gosh, that thing is flickering. Let me see if I can fix that for a second. Um, Alrighty. So, alrighty. So today we're going to make a card that's going to look amazing. It's going to literally impress everybody that you know, or whoever you send it to, but it's going to seem difficult at first. It did for me a couple times. Um, I got this idea from um, simple, simple stamp, simply stamping, uh, Connie Stewart, <laughs> and um, I think her YouTube channel is Simply Simple Stamping. Yes, Simple, Simply Simple Stamping. <laughs> Let me spit that out. So um, if you can't follow me, which is okay, head on over to her video and she might be able, you might be able to follow her a lot better than mine. But um, it's a super cute card, and I've modified mine just a smidge. I will put every all the cutting uh, stuff in the in the um, the uh, blah, 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 blah. I know this one um, in the description listed below. So um, let's see here. Um, so I'm going to bring out these, and I want you to snap a picture. Let's put these. Um, so snap a picture of the templates, or you can just get to Connie's. That one's fine too. So here's the first one. You'll need to snap a picture of it. Um, so the purple lines here are all score lines. This dark purple here is gonna be the only cut line. And then um, I put the numbers on this one, but you can snap a picture of this one as well. If you follow these to a T, oh wait. Let me show you. Here's the tick marks here. I forgot about the tick marks. So um, I do have tick marks and we will make those too. So snap a picture of this one as well. This one is gonna show you how to, where to glue and how to fold. Um, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Not one, two, three, four, because we're gonna fold it one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's your guys's, um, and then we're, we're gonna put our glue. So let's, I might need these, so let me put these over here. So first of all, we're gonna start with our um, DSP. Um, the DSP, um, I cut down to a standard size card, which is eight and a half by 11. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score this in half at four and a quarter. This is gonna be the most simple part of it. This is the simplest part. <laughs> Put it that way. The simplest part is this. And then we're going to do this way and we're going to score at five and a half. So we're just basically scoring it in half. And then we are going to take and we're going to do a cut. So what I like to do is I like to take my cutting blade and move it down here. First of all, we're going to put it back here to five and a half. And then I come down here to four and a quarter because I know that that's going to be halfway. And then I do that and then I make sure, yeah, I cut. So we still need this and I'm going to move my arm out because I'm going to need that arm out. I'm going to take my cheat. So here we go. So we're going to mark it at three and a quarter. So let's see here. Um, with your cut cut side over here on your left left hand side, you're gonna take this and you go to three and a quarter. So da, 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 da. oh, three and three quarters, three and three quarters, Pamela. Don't confuse them. Three and three quarters. And um, oops, where's my pencil? <gasps> no, I had a pencil. Oh, here it is. All right. So you won't see your tick marks, but you can definitely erase them if you want to. So I'm gonna mark that at three and three quarters. And then I'm gonna take the cut mark side, I'm gonna put it up tip top here, 
and I'm gonna go down to seven inches. That's why I pulled my, um, my arm out. There we go. And I'm gonna mark, I put a little tick mark here. And then I'm gonna come over to this square right here. So if you look at your little cheat, it's gonna be over here on this square. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna go this way and we're gonna go all the way to six and three quarters. So six and three quarters right there. And use our pencil here. All right, now you don't have to mark this one here, but it is gonna be right here at the four and a quarter mark, four and one quarter, fourth mark, which is where the score line is. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna line, we're gonna line up those tick marks into our slicer dicer, and we are going to score them. And we're gonna do the same over here. I know you guys are probably thinking, well, that's not so hard. <laughs> okay, well, it's not hard because I've done it like two or three times now, but um, it was hard for me. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because Connie was wanting me to flip the paper or do something and because she just wanted to work at, on this part of the, the slicer dicer paper trimmer. And I wanted things to be easier for my brain. <laughs> so, alrighty, so also I'm gonna just take a minute to grab my grid paper. That way, um, that way if I have to stamp off or something, it doesn't make my area all dirty. And I can put these away now because I don't need those no more. Actually, I'll take this one here now. We're gonna take and do our, now first of all, we wanna see which side we want. I think I want it to be this way. Isn't that paper pretty? <laughs> I know, it really is, but it's 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 gone. But we do, Stampin' Up! has plenty of beautiful DSP and is all on sale right now. Yes, it is all on sale. <laughs> so head on over to Stampin' Up! And um, mine or whoever's your, your Stampin' Up! Demonstrator's website and get your hands on some. Because like I've been telling you guys, if you're not getting DSP, you are missing out. Stampin' Up! has some of the most amazing, amazing artists. Uh, so, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my slicer dicer one more time. Here's where my card is different from Connie's card. Okay, I am going to come in here and I am going to take a quarter inch off, or actually I'm gonna take an eighth of inch off of each side. Does that make sense? So you don't have to do this. You can skip it because you do not have to do this. This is just something I wanted my card. That's how I wanted it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna Get it lined up at the one eighth. All right, come on. Oops, that could be wise. Okay, an eighth an inch, just one eighth an inch. Take that piece off as well, and then, let's see. Now I don't remember which one I took it off of, so this side <laughs> this um my way actually also kind of takes off those pencil marks as well not that they're gonna bother your project at all but um it does so go and then this side over here and one eight and again there we go so like i said all i did was took an eighth of an inch off of each side and that's because I want mine to be layered onto a piece of cardstock. So um, now we're gonna come in here with our glue mark sheet and I am going to get some tear and tape and my glue. So first of all, I am going to glue these 
two pieces down. So, um, you can use tear and tape on these ones too, on, honestly, but I don't know why I just decided I wanted to use glue on them. And the, I use the um, tear and tape at the other places because um, I don't want it to like ooze. Ooze? What is ooze? <gasps> Did you guys watch that movie? I mean, it's an Elvis Presley movie um, and it's uh, GI Blues, I believe. And um, it wasn't ooze, it was, yeah, maybe it was ooze. What is ooze? It's like, you know, uh, I, I don't, I, gosh, it's been so long since I watched it, but um, they're like talking, talking about a song and, and he's like, ooze, well, I'll show you. And so he showed them. And so, yeah, it's cute. Alrighty, so our history question of the day is, now I'm gonna put my tear and tape here all the way down here and right here. And I'm gonna put that away. So our history question of the day is, what is still considered the bloodiest day in American history? Now, I say day, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rephrase that to battle. And um, all you have to do is give me the name of the battle that um, is considered the bloodiest day still in American history. So that means more people died during that battle than any other battle in US history. So, and I will give you the answer to that. Um, at closer to the end of my video. <laughs> so, until then, you know, Google it. I don't, you know, uh, Google it, or if you know it, put it in the comments. And um, I will give you the answer a little later. So, where's my, there it is. I just like to take my um, bone folder and just take and go over my tear and tape. There we go. Now, remember this one has to be up. So let's get our, where, what? So I did, oh, where is my pokey tool? Um, okay, I lost my pokey tool. Um, come here pokey, 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 pokey tool. Okay, who cares? <laughs> I'll find it, I will. I'm just gonna take my um, tear and tape off. It is, it is much easier with your take your pick tool that I don't know what I did with. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me come here. This is such a cute card though. Um, I've made one, I've got a couple of examples to show you when I'm done. So um, I will get those out in a few minutes. But you know, like me, I did this a couple hundred times, or not a couple hundred, but I did this at least three times to get it right. After I figured it out, after I watched Connie's. So this goes over one. And then remember it got onto two, so now this is two. And there we go. There we go. What I'm doing is I'm just taking this moment to get that. And then three and then four. Alrighty, so there we are. Got it all done. So there is our foundation of our card. Now, uh, like I said, I had trimmed it off because I wanted it to layer onto my cardstock here. So I wanted, I don't know why I wanted it that way. I just did. So that's what you get. So I'm going to just take that and glue it on. You, you can stop right here and just decorate it and, you know, put your little piece of, um, what do you call it? Uh, white cardstock in there. That's how Connie did it without one. And she didn't even trim off like I did. And that was her card. But like I said, I wanted that little to be layered onto my, onto the cardstock. So yeah, so 
So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna just get my glue. So like I said, it can be a faster card than me. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I just think I like the layer. So I am taking this and I'm gonna center it. I just left an, like an eighth of an inch on all sides. So there we go. We're gonna set that aside and just let it let it dry. And we're gonna get our, now I don't need that one yet. That one's gonna go inside. We're gonna get our little pieces to stamp on. This is gonna be a Father's Day card. I've got my son, my husband, my stepfather. So I've got many of fathers I need to make cards for. So I just decided to turn this one into um, Father's Day card. So I brought out the bunny and I brought out this adorable turtle. So I think I'm gonna put the turtle on this one because it's smaller. And then the bunny on the other one. So where is my black memento ink? We're gonna get them inked up. I might not color them just yet because I don't want you to have to be here all day, you know, um, watching me <laughs> color and everything. So, um, but I did get my um, fox colored before hand. So we've got our little cute turtle. And now I've got my super adorable bunny rabbits. And we're gonna put him over here on this one. And I think I might put him here. There we go. Oh, hopscotch, double dutch, flip it over, got another, right? Look at that. Did you see what I did? I um, pressed too hard or something. That's right, all paper comes with two sides. So, you know, I always say, hopscotch, double dutch, flip it over, got another. <laughs> I'm not gonna press as hard this time because I don't want those little marks. So, there we go. Just tap, there we go. It's a nice crisp image, it's just that I didn't, I don't have to worry about my, um, you know. So, let's see here. I think I want this one to go here. I've dug through a lot of my stamp sets, including some like super old ones that I don't even know. Honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> if I have to, um, I want Granny Apple Green. If I would have to say which stamp set it's from, I would have to say, I don't know, because um, years ago I went through all my stamps, kept the ones I wanted and got rid of, I mean, literally from like 20 years, I went through them and kept just the sayings I wanted or whatever's and um, I threw out a bunch, but I did keep a Happy Father's Day, which I'm glad I did because the only Happy Father's Day that um, I can find even in my paper pumpkins was super, 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 super tiny. So I got your classic on that one and then And we're gonna do oh happy day i forgot to put this one out on a thingy or on a block let's see here oh happy day and again i think i want that granny apple green nope there we go oh he's so cute all right so then Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep that out because I'm going to get my one that goes on the inside. And I'm going to go with happy. Now, I need... some masking tape. <laughs> so, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stamp that I got like years and years ago. Like I said, I don't even know which one it goes on, go to, goes to anymore. I'm gonna just tape off the happy 
because I just want Father's Day in that other font. Yes, I could have like, you know, done that thing where um, could have all been in the same, but I wanted the font to be a little different. So, yeah, there maybe? Nope, I don't like that at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> see here, I'll do this one more time. I think I'm gonna go and do this one first because, um, so hopscotch, double dutch, flip it over, got another. I'm doing, <laughs> because the other one's photopolymer. I can see through it. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. Right? So, let's see here. Make sure I've got it. There we go. There we go. So if you do, if you ever want to do something like this and you know that you're going to, you know, you might want to start with the photopolymer. Nah, I think right there. Oh, <laughs> did I just do that? Say yes, you did just do that. But that's okay because we've got more over here. I'll just cut it down. That's <laughs> that happy I put it on upside down <sighs> here I thought it was going to be an easy day today <laughs> no Alrighty. so there we go one more time there we go <laughs> oh boy see I am full of it full of everything on I I don't know if I want to say what I'm full of, but I am. Alrighty, so there we go. This way, it goes this way. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go down just a smidge. There we go. Got it. I'll trim it down later. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I'm done with the granny apple green. So we're going to put it back in its home. Alrighty, now, um, I probably don't have to trim it down, but I want to. I do want to trim it down because I want a little bit more of that designer series paper to show behind it, so. And only one way for that to happen and that is to trim everything down. And make sure that we have, yeah, so there we go. So this one is going to go in here. And like I said, I wanted some of that to show. So that's why I cut it down. My babies are being super good right now because I gave them a cheese stick. <laughs> so that is why they're not all in my face right now, trying to get my attention. There we go. So now... I'm gonna leave that out because I know I'm gonna need it. Um, I, I should probably color this before I put it on here. You know what, I think I'm going to, I don't think we've been on too long yet. Um, hopefully we're not longer than an hour. So let's see here, I've got, um, let's see, we're gonna do Smoky Slate. Um, I want them to have a little bit of cheeks. And what color do we want his jacket? I think I want it to be Granny Apple Green, which is right here. Okay, there we go, Granny Apple Green. Alrighty, so 
Let's see here. See if we can't get these colored up super quick. So, <laughs> make his nose pink and give him just a smidge. And then maybe a little bit of the pink here. There we go. That's what I need. I need the balmy blue for my puddle down here, I think. I think I want it to be, whoops. This one. There we go. Hopefully I can be quick. I'm not a fast colorer, but I love coloring. I just, I'm not fast. So, let's see here, do the, the light. I think I'm gonna start with the light. Alrighty, so. Let's get our little bunny. I don't know why I wanted him gray, but he's cute. I think I had a gray bunny when I was little. That's probably why. I had lots of bunnies when I was little. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's not exactly a pretty story, but I'll tell you anyhow. So I had this papa and I was his shadow. Seriously, whenever he was home, he drove, um, long haul trucks. So whenever he was home, I was right there next to him. I was his shadow. I would fall asleep or pretend to fall asleep, whichever worked for me. Um, <laughs> to, just so my parents would leave me because my, pa I, I hear him say, just leave her. She's sleeping. So I would, I'd just pretend like I was asleep so I can just stay with him. But he used to raise these rabbits. And um, he'd raise them to eat. But he would let us kids, every once in a while, we'd be like, oh, Papa, we really, really want a rabbit. Blah, blah, blah. And he'd be like, okay, but, you know, don't name any of the ones in the cages. He would never let us name any of them. But... Um, because those were the ones we're about to eat. <laughs> so, um, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking and I'm highlighting some of the areas with the darker that I know is gonna be, you know, with the cheat lines and stuff like that. So, we go. So, he would always let us kids have a, have a bunny, you know, but we had dogs, or my parents had dogs, should I say? And, um, A lot of the times that's what ended up happening was my dog would kill the bunny accidentally <laughs> and we'd go crying back to Papa, Papa, and he would give us another bunny. But yeah, I would go out with him when he would um, go out there to get a bunny and he'd be like, okay, here, we're going to go outside and we're going to get this bunny. And um all I'm doing right now is just kind of making a shadow underneath my petal. And um, let's bring that out. And then, like I said, we're going to do green. So we're going to do the light granny apple green. And I had to go out there with them when he was getting these bunnies ready for dinner, you know. And I'd go out there with them just like I always did, right on his heels. And he would go out there and eat grab this bunny by his ears, shake it and skin it. I mean, just like that. And we'd go back in the house and we'd fry it up and eat it. And, uh, <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in here with the light gray. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna just move some of that, the darker that I went in there and I'm gonna just move it so is that I soften up those lines so you can't tell that I highlighted those areas. So down here, I wanted it to be darker because I know that sun's not really hitting it there. So there we go. And I am using the side of my brush tip because I don't want to ruin that tip. Now I'm gonna go in here with my dark green and I'm going to highlight those little cheat areas. And 
and kind of, you know, trace it because like you always do. And then I'm gonna come in here, while that is doing its thing, I'm gonna come down here at the bottom and I'm gonna take my color eraser and just kind of run it across this gray down here. And all that's gonna do is just soften it up just a bit. So then I'm gonna come back in here with my light granny apple green. And uh, again, I'm gonna light or soften those lines that I just made with that dark by going through with this. There we go. So there is that one. Now I'm gonna come back in here with our light pool party, or not pool party, balmy blue. I don't think we, oh yeah, we do. We still have balmy blue. I was gonna say, did they retire balmy blue? I would not have been happy. It's one of my favorites. There we go. So our bunny is ready. Alrighty, so I'm gonna keep most of these colors out and we're gonna work with the same colors. So let's see here. I think I want him to be, oh boy, <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see here, I'm gonna use my cheat real quick to see, um, Daffodil Delight, yeah, there we go. Now, let's see here, we're gonna make the flower pink. I guess flower can be any color you want. Anything can. Alrighty, so his shell is gonna be gray on the bottom. So let's go with the light. Try and get this done quickly. I know. I know you guys probably don't mind, but I don't know. I just think I'm bothered by it more than anything. And then I think is this the light one? Yes. I'm gonna come in here with the light granny apple green and I think these are gonna be granny apple green. So how do I find out what color combinations I'm gonna use? <laughs> well, that's usually, I think these little hands and legs are gonna be granny apple green as well, including his little head. I use my colors out of my um, designer series paper, usually. Um, but I also, like I said, I've got these little cheat things that I, I've got that I can send you in, in your email if you want to print them out. Just let me know. But no, if you send me your email, you're probably gonna get my monthly email going out. All right, so now I'm gonna go in here with the yellow or the Daffodil Delight. I think the rest of his shell is going to be that color. There we go. Now we're going to go with the dark. Again, I'm not doing everything. I'm just putting a little bit of color here and there that I can drag and blend just a smidge. And now the dark. Probably don't even need to go in here with the dark, but we'll see. I might like it better. All right, light granny apple green. There we go. Nope. 
This part, I think I like the brush tip better. So there we go. And that softens up those lines just Just a smidge. Well, the yellow one more time, the light yellow. Or daffodil delight. There we go. I think he turned out super cute. The only thing I think I wanna do is I think I wanna take And take and give him a little depth to his eye. There we go. Ah, <sighs> now we've got to mess with all of our markers. We're just gonna shove them out of our way. Yeah. Ugh. There we are. I'll put them away in a minute. All right. Now we're gonna get these all glued together and finish our card. So, yeah, our little turtle done. Since it's a Father's Day card, I guess we won't put too much like bling on it. <laughs> or should I say um, gems or, you know, but we'll see what I'm gonna do. I know probably not ribbon, maybe not ribbon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me get our little bunny. This is such a cute stamp set. I fell in love with it. And um, it's still available. It's in our regular catalog, but it's not a bundle anymore. But um, I think it's worth it. I mean, you're gonna see that I use some dyes out of it. So there we go. So these are gonna go in their pockets. So this one will go into this little one up front. And then this one will go in the bigger one behind, just like so. So we've got those together. Now where did, oh yeah, there they are. Now, I got all of these here. So we're gonna, got our little bridge and our little fox, some green <laughs> greenery, I'm not sure. Here we go. This one's gonna go over on the other side. There we are. So, I don't think I want any of this to be on dimensionals or anything, but I think I want this to be over here because I think I want it to kind of hide that. There we go, so. But look at all these, you get all kinds of things in this little bunch. So, let's see here. Let's get our bridge up first, so we're just gonna now there's some areas I'm not putting glue because I want to try and tuck my fox in there. So let's see here. here. Supposed to have somebody coming over today to start the pouring the cement for my um, pool heater. <laughs> there we go. I decided not to cover the oh happy day, but that's okay because I could actually leave it poking out just a smidge more like that, so you actually see it. <laughs> And I cut this out of some um, paper that I got from, I wanna say the same, from the uh, paper pumpkin that this went with. So, let's see, we're gonna put our little grassy pieces down here. But 
but I'll show you the dies in a second. There we are. Stick down, stay. <laughs> He's walking over his little bridge. There we are. So, um, let me see here. I know it needs something, so, whoops. Let's see what I want to do. I do have some of these 2022 to 2023 in color dots. I'm not sure I want those ones, but this one has the balmy blue, so I'm thinking I might use those balmy blue ones because they're cute. Um, but then again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to do too much because, like I said, it's a Father's Day card. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see if I have any other of these. Maybe, I don't know. say this is um doesn't really say the colors why aren't they telling me the colors on this one that's frustrating i want to say those are mm. this one's an in color right yes this is the 2023 to 2025 in colors so i don't think i want those ones maybe these ones all right, let's see here. Those yellow ones would probably complement it nice. I don't know what color it is though, but you know. You know, this is where my take your pick tool would come in handy if I can find it. Here it is. <laughs> I knew I'd find it. So let's get one of each size. So. One. Come on. What do you think on there? Kind of looks cute. Mm. Yeah, I think so. There. And then this little one. We'll go. There we go. I think it's good enough. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't want it to have too much bling and stuff. But yeah. So let me show you the other ones that I made. So this is the one I made with this. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, what do you call it? Stamp set. Which is super cute. And then there is... This one here I made, this one's my my um, daughter-in-law's birthday card. She loves cats and I tried to make it look just like her little kitty. 
And it says, I love you, or love you, because I do, I just love her. And then this one says, wishing you the, the most magical of birthdays. And then you open it up and it's got the balloons on the inside. So I thought that one was cute. And then I made this one for my niece's graduation party. And of course, or graduation, of course I had to go overboard and put ribbon and everything else on it. So I might still come in here with this one. I've got until the 30th of July. So that's when her birthday is. So we've got yay you <laughs> and then we've got you did it <laughs> and then on the inside is congratulations um i just thought i loved it and i loved this um this fun fold so of course i had to overdo it so those are the three cards that i created with this particular fun fold and I just love it. So I hope you are able to um, make your own double pocket fun fold card, I think is what um, Connie called it. Um, the answer to our history question of the day is um, the Battle of Antium. Antium. And I hope I said that right. That is the Battle of Antium, and um, it is where American casualties were a lot in one battle. Uh, there was more Americans, you know, because you're talking both sides, you know. Um, the North and the South were fighting, so you had a lot of casualties. So, I mean, there was a lot of battles, but that one was by far the bloodiest day in American history. So, there's that. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and um, follow me on my Facebook group page, which is Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. At the end of this month, I will be doing a raffle, and one of you will win a set of these. These are the all new in colors, the 2023 to 2024 in colors, and they are gorgeous, so yes. So you, one of you will win. Like, share, invite, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, and remember to subscribe in case I decide to do this again. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great afternoon. Bye.